A Swiss Muslim couple who kept their daughters out of a mixed-gender swimming class on religious grounds do not have the right to do so. The European Court of Human Rights ruled that schooling, including sports, overrides religious convictions. On trial attorney Anna Hita Sedagatva and Adina Lekovic, Communications Director for the Muslim Public Affairs Council, joins me now for more on this story. Okay, thank you for both coming in. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, Anita, just starting with you, the European Court released a statement and it read in part, the children's interest in attending swimming lessons was not just to learn to swim, but above all, to take part in that activity with all the other pupils, with no exception on account of children's origin, all their parents' religious or philosophical convictions. So basically, I think what they're saying is that integration took precedence over religious beliefs, even if those religion freedoms were being interfered with. So is that how you see this? That's exactly what the court ruled, and this is groundbreaking. And the court basically put it down to a balancing test, right? They said, let's balance religious freedom versus social integration. And they ultimately concluded that social integration in schools, particularly as it relates to foreign students who these girls were takes precedent even if you're interfering with religious freedom and the court used that word interfering with religious freedom that's critical but the school's right trumped that according to the court so, so basically is there a legal definition here or is it a case-by-case -case basis or and, and that's that's the thing it sort of leaves a gray area and according to this ruling which by the way will set precedent because this is groundbreaking this hasn't no court has ruled in this manner I think it will have to be decided on a case-by-case -case basis the court's going to try to find a middle ground and that's what they tried to explain in their ruling that there should be some compromise and you know and they gave some examples of some compromises that were offered to these two girls wearing a burkini um, was one offer that they were given the parents refused and they said that you know if these girls had reached the age of puberty they certainly could be exempt mm -hmm. from this but the question is what is a reasonable accommodation what right. is a middle ground well with that in mind Adina you know, what is the compromise here and, and you know this was a legal case it was very high profile how much clothing or how little clothing you're wearing. And I you said that this could have implications, that there could be, you know, fallout, significant fallout from this ruling. What are we looking at here, though, well, in I mean, legal this, terms? This is going to set a precedent. This was a unanimous ruling. We know that... It can that still be appealed, though, right? It can be appealed. They have three months to appeal, but it's gone to three other courts. They've all ruled the same way. And I think to your point, the court sort of emphasized the fact that, look, it's a balancing test. We're going to give them, you know, something that's a common ground. But the parents didn't want to accept that. And so the question is, should they be forced to do that? And when the court is saying and actually acknowledging explicitly mm -hmm. that this interferes with their constitutional right to religious freedom, nonetheless, the school, according to the court, has a fundamental compelling interest in integration. And so the court sort of explained their ruling that way, that the school should have a right to set rules and policies that coincide with the society in which they live. And in this case, that is social integration and assimilation. And Adina, you, I, can, I can hear a lot of people out there who are saying, I always like to call it opposite America. I mean, it is now. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it does seem to be very different in so many, so mm -hmm. many ways. Uh, Anna, thanks for the legal um, interpretation and uh, analysis. And Adina, thank you for coming in and, and sharing your thoughts as well. Thanks for having Appreciate us. It.